Good afternoon, this is Eddie from Puritech introducing to you the F65 P3 volume controlled head. You get the P series, uh, the P series three with the number three, which it means it's volume controlled, how many liters passes through your vessel before regeneration will happen. And then you get time controlled, which you can set per day and any time of that day in order to do the regeneration. Today I'm gonna to show you the programming of this. The flow rate on this head is 2000 liters per hour. First we plug it in, as you'll see, it starts up with its blank screen and then you'll hear it kick in to flush mode when you hear the motor moving. There's the model, F65P3. There it's starting the automatic flush, as you can hear the motor's running. Once this cycle has stopped, it's gonna to go to the setting screen. It generally does this for about between 20 to 30 seconds. As you can see now we're in the setting screen, it's, the time is flashing. What we're going to do is we're going to leave the head to lock so that I can show you how to program this from the very beginning. When you hear a peep, then you'll know the head is locked. As you heard that peep, you'll see there, there's a little key and it's lit up. That means that is locked. It means I can do anything on this head and you cannot make any changes. So now first what we're going to do is we want to unlock the head so that we can access the changes. First you hold the up and down arrow key in for a few seconds. You'll hear another peep and you'll see the little key has disappeared. Now you have your time flashing. This is your actual time of the day that it is now. Now what we want to do is the actual time now is quarter past one. The head is showing it is 13 minutes past 12. Now take, in, take into account that this is a 24-hour 24, 24 format head. First thing that we do in order to access that is we press the square button. Now you'll see the 12 is flashing. That means it's 12 midday, 12 p.m. Now we want to change that to quarter past one. Go up, see 13, that shows you to 24-hour format. Press the square button again at 13 minutes. You put it up to 15 minutes. Now what you'll notice is this little span over here is flickering. That means we're still busy setting the settings. Now we've got it at quarter past one. That's where we want it. Press the square button in order to fix the setting and you'll see the spanner light stand still. It actually just lights up. Now we have set the time. Now moving on to the next setting, you press down. Now this is, this is the actual time of the morning when your regeneration process of this automatic valve will actually happen. All right, it's currently set at two o'clock in the morning, but you obviously know when you wanna set it for when nobody's using water. Now we want it, let's say we wanna set it till half past three in the morning. We press the square key, it's now lights up the hours, so it's two o'clock in the morning. We press the up arrow, we take it to three o'clock. That's where we want it to be. Press the square button, it gives you a minutes. Now we press up again, we go all the way till half past. There we go, it's still flashing, as you can see the span is still flashing. This is the time we wanted to regenerate and backwash. Press the square button and we've locked it. As you can see the spanner, once again it's lit up. Move on to the next setting. This is A1. Now basically what this is, you're never gonna really change this. You're gonna keep it at A1. You can change it, it does have a function. Press the square button, you can change it to A2. But this then means you're moving it into a manual mode when you can manually actually backwash and function with this. So we leave it on A1, never really change it lock it with a square button and we move on to the next setting. Now this is the amount of liters in volumes that, that it needs to flow through the vessel when it goes into automatic generation and backwash mode. Now if you can see the 10, the 10 means that's 10,000 liters. The double zero after the, com, after the dot there, this is your hundreds. So let's say we want to, we want a regeneration to happen at 2,600 after every 2,600 liters has passed through the vessel. We press the square button, we take it down to two. Now that's the 2,000. Press the square button, take it up. You can hold it in and it actually makes the setting go a little bit quicker. The longer you hold it in, the quicker the setting goes. We're almost there. 2,600. 
So it's 2.60, that's 2,600 liters. That's where we wanted to regenerate every time. Press the square button and it is now set. As you can see with that little spanner, that is still lit up. Move on to the next setting. Now this is your actual backwash time. It's set at generally, as you can see, the little M is lit up. It's set at 10 minutes. Let's say you want to do a shorter backwash cycle. What you're gonna do is press the square button. Let's say we take it down to seven minutes. Now we're on seven minutes, so it's only gonna backwash for seven minutes. Press the square button and it's set. If we move on to the next setting. This is your actually uh, actual brine slow. This is when the water is pulled by the head out of the brine tank into the cation resin. The actual brine is pulled into the cation resin for the regeneration process. Now your general de factory default setting is set at 60 minutes. Generally, you don't want to change this. You want to keep it at 60 minutes. But let's say you're doing more frequent backwashes. What we're going to do, if you want to set it down to nothing less than 30 minutes, let's set it to 30 minutes. Press the square button. Go all the way down. Now we've set it at 30 minutes. Press the square button and it's set. Moving on to the next setting. Okay, this is your actual brine refill. So this is when the, the actual head fills up the brine tank with water again. Generally, you're going to leave it at five minutes. You're not really going to play with the setting much. Uh, but let's say you want, let's just say for, for, for some chance you want it to go for seven minutes. Press the square button, take it up to seven minutes, press the square button and it's set at seven minutes. Next setting. This is your actual fast rinse. So on de default, factory default, it's set at 10 minutes. Now what you want to do is you want to always consider your backwash time and your fast rinse to be set at the same time. Because sometimes if, depending on the amount of brine being pulled into the cation resin, if you don't do this, the same backwash time as the fast rinse, it might still leave a salty taste in the water. So generally you want to keep it at the same time. But let's say now we want to, we set the backwash at seven minutes. Now we want to set the fast rinse at seven minutes. Press the square button. Go down to seven minutes. That's where we want it to be. As you can see, the spanner is flashing. Press the square button and it is now set at seven minutes. Our backwash set seven minutes and rinse is also set at seven minutes. Next setting. This is the uh, amount of days if you wanted to backwash. So let's say you wanted to backwash every 10 days. As you can see, the little D's lit up and it's 30, so it's set on 30 days. We press the square button. We go down to 10. That is every 10 days, as you can see, 10D. In order to fix it, press the square button and now it is set at every 10 days. Next setting. This is the amount of times you wanted to backwash in one day. You really don't ever play with the setting because sometimes on some of the heads, when you do select B2, which means you wanted to backwash twice a day, it will backwash twice sim simultaneously after each other. So always just leave it at B1. Don't really play with that setting. And now your head is set. Now what we're gonna do, you just leave the head for about a minute and it'll make a beep and you will see your little key will be locked and your head will be programmed.